Hi guys and welcome, Nemon here. Yeah, I'm a senior dev for Java and I work on implementing features for updates on Java platform. My name is Felix, some of you might know me as Xylefian. I am the gameplay tech lead for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Uh, I joined Mojang in 2020 on the Java team. So what was your first ever experience with Redstone? So I think outside of the casual maybe a fail attempt on a piston door or something that I forgot, it's probably Panda's stream when he talked about the red sand converter. Back in the days we could use a glitch where you could convert white to red sand. And I played with that a little bit and I think that was that. Back in Alpha there wasn't much use for redstone besides opening iron doors. Uh, so most of our builds were combination locks for opening iron doors. Aside from that, um, I would put a redstone torch on top of my base to indicate if I was home or not. There'd be a lever by the front door and powering it would uh, send a signal up the chain of torches to the roof. What's your favorite redstone related memory? I think that would be the figuring how hopper chunk loading works uh, with the pre-112 times. And obviously with the permaloader. I know uh, it caused probably several server crashes here and there for other people, but on individual worlds was super useful. Now with chunk loading, commoditized with portals and recently with ender pearls, it may not feel that special, but back in the day it was something else. I remember the 1.5 redstone updates, and at the time uh, I was using redstone lamps to create streetlights uh, all, th all throughout my uh, bases, and uh, when the daylight sensor appeared, that felt like a, um, a way to finally automate that. I can, at night time, illuminate all of my base automatically. That spirit of a living base is something I imagine the uh, <laughs> copper golem would have continued. Meanwhile, everyone else in the redstone updates was amassing iron to create hopper chains. I think my favorite redstone build is uh, my individual item sorter. It still works to this day and I build it casually in every place, every base I make. The storage approach is not for everyone, but it is for me and I, and I love it uh, and I think this is great. My best friend and I built a replica of Team Fortress 2's uh, Degroot Keep uh, with a portcullis made of flowing lava and pulling a lever in the castle would extend pistons which blocked the lava and would allow other players to walk through if we allowed them. What's your favorite development story relating to Redstone? I think that will be being allowed and given full blessing to port tick command to vanilla. It's very useful for all sorts of situations and the fact that all players now can use it is great. We we're thinking initially just making it a debug tool available for just developers, but the decision was made to make it public for everyone to use, and I think that's awesome. It comes back quite often in the bug reports, not because it's buggy on its own, but allows to explain in much more clarity certain bugs, where if you blink, you missed it. One of my first redstone fixes was uh, MC45619. <laughs> and uh, it was related to comparator behavior with item frames uh, being in the same space as the signal uh, source block, uh, which included uh, comparators reading chests with an item frame on them. So what I did was I took the maximum of all the potential output signals. This allowed you to configure a minimum output level for chests with items in them, which I thought was pretty cool, all within a single block. Um, and I made a few cool test builds with this change and I thought it'd be a really neat fix to uh, something that lacked consistency previously. Uh, but then comes uh, 20 week uh, 6a and I ended up getting a lot of angry messages regarding this uh, change behavior. And uh, for anyone interested, the bug is MC171079. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I did revert the change for 20 week 11a. What do you think makes Redstone special? I think it's the same that makes the rest of the Minecraft blocks special in their functionality. The complex way that they interact with each other and with other entities around them. Redstone is not just redstone dust and other redstone components, that in the redstone tab it's all blocks that have even a single unique aspect to them. The fact that redstone is actually in the world is what makes it special. I kind of think that any other video game would put redstone logic in a UI or they would have a visual scripting system or a scripting language. Uh, but Redstone's kind of within the actual space, it's within the 3D game world, and that makes it so much more tangible. Uh, I have fond memories watching players in servers slowly piecing together a circuit. Um, they would try something, pull a lever, press a button, uh, they would see the result, and then they would try something else. And I would watch them learn, and I'd watch them become a Redstone builder right in front of me. 
What do you want to say to the Redstone community? Well, that's a loaded one. <laughs> uh, first, I think chill. Sometimes uh, we can get hang up on something really that's not important. It's partially a problem of the immature approach to content online and in big part, not the best at times, communication about changes and intentions behind them from Moyang. And the second thing is that we watch you. I mean, many times I hear in less watched videos, I bet Moyang doesn't watch this, but we do. Every time if one of us has something shipped, it's quite common for us to just search for any reference of that online and see what other people have to say about it. So if you made a video, with just 10 people watch it, probably five of them are Moyang developers. Your content is super valuable, even the less watched stuff, and we do pay attention. I probably watched every single short and every video of Skulk spreading mechanics because I loved it. Redstone players have very much optimized their play at this point, uh, where it's now easy to say if someone's building Redstone the wrong way. And as new Redstone components are inevitably added in future updates, uh, more of the old Redstone designs will become the wrong way. And I believe for the Redstone community to continue growing, we need to bring Redstone to other Minecraft communities. And some of those old circuit designs could be a way to do that. Mm -hmm.